I ask you, what does a potato and this odd looking thing have in common? Well, hello, this is Adam Peters, and um, yeah, just here to talk about some different things. Um, and in answer to my question, first of all, yes, this is a potato. Uh, second off, this is a calligraphy pen. Fountain pen, perhaps? I don't know. I just use it, actually. Anyway, but what do they have in common? Well, actually, they, they don't. They don't, really. Um, but one thing they do have in common, one thing they do... Never, okay, they don't have in common. This thing right here... This thing right here goes into this thing right here. If I can find the spot. Now, what does that do? I don't really know. Check that, I do kind of know. Someone told me that when you put this, this fountain pen uh, nib, it's called nib, N-I-B, inside a potato, potato, tomato, potato, potato, then it will do a thing where there are like, what you call, oils and stuff that will help the ink flow better. That's what I've been told. Does it actually work? Also, now I have a potato and a pen. I don't know how we got here, but here we are. So one of my hobbies is writing, I was gonna say intelligently, but that doesn't sound right. Um, I like writing with fountain pens, let's just say. And I would say it's mainly because I just feel like it makes the writing feel more just unique, I guess. I feel like it's mine, you know, like it's, it's it can't quite be anyone else's because, you know, I wrote it with this pen, which is a very nice pen, by the way. Anyway, um, I like writing with this thing, and I have two different inks. I have the uh, Bombay Red India ink, if it will focus. Okay. Ah, there we go. And then, I have this black. I'll just leave the price tag on there. So, as you can see, it, it's pretty cheap. But what I usually do is I will just take this little thing right here and I will, it has a dropper on the top. And I drop the ink into the little indent there. And then, um, contrary to popular belief, you do you actually hold it a certain way. Um, well, I guess I have to change, change the camera now. Kind of satisfying actually. That's the main thing I like about this little hobby of mine is that I always have something to have afterwards. Words are hard. 
Also, I'm not a huge fan of keying over like this. I don't know. It works. What we do is we take this little thing, unscrew the the dropper, my deal. Just get a little bit of ink in there and just drop the ink in. I usually put a bit more than I need in there just to, you know, for good measure. And then I just kind of lightly tap it on the rim. And then I have usually about the right amount. And you can get going hashtag scientific on you. The surface tension helps keep the ink in place so you can actually like have more ink. And then you don't have to, what you call, refill as often, and that saves time. This whole process can take a lot of time. I wrote a quote um, down in my book. Uh, let's see here. Ah. Here it is. Okay. Um, it was one sentence. And I did it in the old English, like Gothic kind of style. Of lettering. And I think that one quote took me two hours. Plus, I'm just a huge a pretty big fan of quotes in general because I don't just kind of go writing random feel good quotes willy nilly willy nilly hmm. also one thing that can be a good idea is to get good ink I use just this regular black India ink for this it works fine for me because I just wash it and stab it in a potato that's not something I can say for a lot of things in my life but for this, that works. Wash, stab in a potato, write, repeat. Make sure it's dry before you close the book. I, th I think it's dry, pretty sure. 